If you're like me, you're probably tired of having to deal with weed eaters that don't work, hedgers that have an extremely long extension cord. I'm going to show you something really impressive. It's Black & Decker products. All of these tools that I'm about to show you, I actually use on a weekly basis. And they are definitely going to help you. And we're going to start right now. For years, I dealt with the hassle of gas trimmers, weed eaters. I dreaded having to use them after I finished cutting the grass. They were often difficult to start. They required mixing the gas solution. The line would constantly either get tangled or broken off at the base, requiring you to re-thread the thing. They were messy, noisy, required frequent maintenance. And then a few years ago, I was looking for a better solution and I found a battery operated trimmer locally at our hardware store from Black & Decker. I didn't think it'd do the job, so I picked it up locally for an easy return when I decided it wasn't going to work. Well, I was completely blown away at how well it worked. And I must admit, I would never go back to a gas powered trimmer. All of these tools that I'm about to show you use the exact same 20 volt battery. So it's nice that you can be able to interchange it with all of them. You can collect, you know, three or four extra batteries. And so you always have power for any of them. Well, after the success with the trimmer, I decided to replace another gas powered blower using another Black & Decker tool, the 20 volt blower or sweeper is what they call it. And I use this even more than the trimmer, as we're frequently needing to sweep the back patio, the driveway, the front porch. Uh, not only that, it's great if you have pets. Um, they collect a lot of hair and stuff. Well, uh, you can run this inside the house and blow up under the sofa uh, or any of your heavy furniture that you don't like to move. Just blow it up under there and all that stuff comes out. And then you just sweep it up and you're good. Well, as if that wasn't enough, for years we used the hand hedgers, you know, the kind with the handle that, you know, you do this number. Uh, it's great exercise, but, you know, for, uh, for bushes, we rarely, uh, they rarely got trimmed because it was such a pain. So we picked up the Black & Decker hedge trimmer, and now even my kids enjoy trimming the bushes, which is amazing in itself. All right, so keep in mind, this is not an unboxing video. These are tools that I've used for a year or more and can easily be found on Amazon or at your local hardware store. I don't work for Black & Decker. They did give me a t-shirt because I sent them a nice note of how much I enjoy their tools. Uh, but anyway, I'm simply a customer that wants to share my experience with these tools so I can help you solve the same problems I had. All right, so let's take a look at them. Right, the first tool that we're going to talk about today is this Black & Decker weed eater or edger. Um, it's, it's awesome. This is great. I can cut um, all of my yard. I would say there's been a few times where I had to use, uh, early on, where I had to use a high power option, uh, which is right here. There's a switch here for either high power or low power. I've had to use the high power in a few instances when I was first cutting. Uh, but after that, low power does great, and with that, I can get through the entire yard. Uh, that's a half acre yard. But uh, essentially what you have here is a single line here. Um, you can easily remove these cartridges just by pushing the buttons in, uh, replace the line, pop it back in, and pop this piece back in, and you're good to go. Uh, the cartridges are very... Uh, very handy. I, I've never had to adjust this line. Once I've got it started, never had to readjust it. Now let's try it with a power level of one. As you can see, it did a very good job. Let's try some thicker grass at a power level of one. Alright, now we're moving into some thicker grass at a power level of 2. Alright, 
Now we'll try a thicker set of grass here with a power level of one. Okay, let's say we need to do some trimming now. We can hit this button, turn the shaft, and now it's ready for trimming. Here we see two different types of battery chargers. This is the first one that uh, came with the weed eater, I believe. Um, basically, it's the same thing. It's just uh, a lot bigger. Um, to charge the battery, you simply take the connections here, slide it in, it pops in, and in a little while, it's ready to go. This is what the uh, newer model chargers look like. They're very small and compact. You can easily pack it in a tool bag. Um, this is the... Uh, newer battery. This one has a gray finish or gray plastic. Uh, it's a 20 volt uh, max. You just take it, plug it in, and when the battery is green, which it is, these are ready to go. Let's place it in one of the yard tools and see how it performs. While you're watching this video, don't forget, click the subscribe button down at the bottom. What that'll do is allow you to easily come back to this video in the future if you so choose to want to take a look at these awesome tools in the very near future. Back to the video. Next we're going to take a look at the blower. This is one of my favorite tools. Uh, essentially what you can do with this thing is blow out your driveway. Uh, it's not as strong as some of the gas powered blowers uh, but it does the job. Um, you can blow out your uh, driveway, your front porch, your back porch. Uh, it's great if you have pets. Uh, I even use this indoors. If I want to blow up under the furniture, like under the sofa, I can just take it and blow it out and then sweep it up, and it's, it's wonderful. Uh, like the other, all these tools, they're lithium 20 volt max. Yeah. So what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, get all this bark uh, out of the way, and we're going to use the blower for that. Uh, so we're going to pop the battery in, like so, and let's take care of it. What's nice about this, no cords, totally cordless. You don't have to mess with mix gas mixtures or anything like that. You just hit the button and go. Next we have the Black & Decker uh, Hedger. Uh, how you operate this thing is you just hold the button down here and then you press the trigger and when you do that it will keep running until you release it and it re releases the safety here. Um, also you have uh, a 20 volt max where you plug in your battery and uh, this thing will run for quite a long time. All right, now I'm gonna show you how easy it is and how quick to trim this bush. All right, no battery. We're gonna place in the uh, lithium 20 volt battery like so. All right, you hold this button down, trigger moves. All right, you ready? Let's get this thing knocked out.
All right, so how long did that take? Probably about two minutes, roughly. Now I'm showing about a minute and 30 seconds, and part of that was me talking. Impressive, isn't it? We trimmed our neighbor's bushes here, as you can see. Uh, we brought two batteries with us. Um, we did that one on the far end right there, that one, this one, this one, and this one, and one on the side of the house with two batteries, and we still have a charge. However, it's a little low, and I thought this would be a good opportunity to share with you what it sounds like when it's about to cut out. So we got the blower going. Well, just like... It already bit the dust, maybe. Yeah, it's already dead. Okay, so we used one battery fully. Uh, we also used a chainsaw. All right, so sometimes you run into branches that are a little bit too thick to cut with a uh, hedger, which this is a prime example. I need to cut this. So what I'm going to instead do is use this Black & Decker chainsaw. So uh, essentially how you use it, you want to add a little primer, and then you hold this button in and this button to turn the chain. All right, so let's take care of this. There we go, no problem. It can also be used to cut some very large branches or uh, small trees. Uh, it's a very handy, very handy tool to have. Uh, I cleared out my backyard with it uh, a couple of weeks ago and it did an awesome job. Uh, there are some times where the chain comes loose. Um, the way you adjust that, just twist this off and then adjust your chain. Uh, there's some markings in there that show you which way the chain should go. And then uh, you just screw it all back together and you're good to go. And we still have one battery that's probably about halfway uh, with charge. So, that's what it looks like. Took us probably, gosh, maybe an hour to trim all this and uh, longer to pick up all the leaves and stuff. So anyway, just wanted to share with you what a larger job looks like and what you can expect with the Black & Decker Hedger and the uh, chainsaw. We didn't use the chainsaw that much. We did use the blower a lot. We blew out our driveway for uh, in our garage. So that all looks pretty good. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.